weekend it is jackson blue who's this jennifer oh my friend called you um last year to let you know that i was pregnant wait they, they called me last year let me know that you were pregnant oh no was it mine it was you wanted somebody to call to tell you uh what the best text message they got that day was oh god no i meant was the baby mine but it wasn't mine right no 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 not this time maybe next time maybe next time <laughs>
The following is an exclusive presentation of the Nebraska Rural Radio Association. This is the High Plains Spas and Recreation pregame show, live from the Logos broadcast booth. Here is Chuck Schwartz. Well, thank you. Good evening, everyone. The Western Nebraska women and men host a doubleheader against Lamar Community College. I'll take a look at the men's matchup after the women's game. The Western Nebraska women, coached by Chad Gibney, are a sparkling 17-1 and following their 81-60 win at EWC Sunday afternoon. The Lady Cougars move up two spots to eighth in the national rankings with their only loss to sixth-rated College of Southern Idaho, who is 19-1. Lamar, coached by Lauren Bogle, is 7-10, winning two of their last three games. Lamar's 1-1 one one in the South Subregion, while Western Nebraska is 1-0. Western Nebraska leads the nation in scoring at 91 points per game. Lady Cougars have scored 80-plus points 15 times, which is already a new one-season school record. Western Nebraska has been over the century mark four times. They have four players in the top 50 in individual stats. Alicia Douglas, who was injured in the win Sunday at EWC and will suit up today, maybe not as many minutes as normal, is second in steals, 13th in scoring. That's at 18.2 points per game and only 20 and a half minutes of playing time since nearly all 14 players on the roster usually play in every game. She's 19th in free throw percentage, 33rd in assists. Shan Perot is 28th in assists and 37th in three-point percentage. Aminata Z leads in field goal percentage at 70.1%. And Martise Brooks is 30th in field goal percentage. Defensively, Western Nebraska is 26th nationally in points allowed at 56.9 points per game. The Lady Cougars' streak of holding opponents to less than 60 points per game was stopped at 10, which is the 12th best streak in school history. And in 14 of the 18 games, they've kept opponents under 60, and the 14th is sixth most in one season. For Lamar, Athea Angelus is 38th nationally in assists and also a big-time scorer at 18.1 points per ball game. Chad Gibney's teams have won an incredible 65 of 67 games at Cougar Palace, but one of the losses was to Lamar. The current 12-game winning streak, home and away, is the 21st longest in school history. A win tonight would tie for 19th place. But Chad teams have also had winning streaks of 26, 17, 16, and 11 games. The 26th was the second longest in school history. Chad is 9-1 against Lamar, 4-1 at home, but has won the last nine games. Alicia Douglas is now 14th in career points, 4th in career free throws made, 4th in career games in the 20s, and fifth in games in the 30s. Teammates Shante Henry and Peyton Fields are 21st and 30th respectively in career-made threes. And Rashawn Smith is 30th in block shots for one season, despite averaging less than eight minutes a game. Next up, I'll take a look at the rankings, then my visit with Coach Chad Gibney. You're listening to the High Plains Spas and Recreation pregame show. Life is tough. The stress and despair can sometimes feel like it's too much. But you aren't alone. There is help, hope, and healing in the heartland for anyone struggling with suicidal thoughts. For free crisis support, call 1-800-273-8255. We'll get through this together. Nebraska needs you. The Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services, helping people like you live better lives. Aired in cooperation with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Highway 2 Threads has expanded their hours. It's expanded their hours. Now open Mondays 9 to 2, Tuesdays and Wednesdays 9 to 4, Thursdays 9 to 6, Fridays 9 to 5, and Saturdays 9 to 1. So you can shop later on Thursdays, swing down during the week, or even on the weekend. Check out all the new merchandise. Grab something for yourself and something for your man. And step out in style from the latest looks at Highway 2 Threads, Downtown Alliance on the Bricks. Like them on Facebook for the latest specials, events, and extras. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of the Cougars. I already mentioned Western Nebraska moved up to eighth in the national rankings this week. The top seven stay the same. Northwest Florida State, Three Rivers, Missouri, Shelton State, Trinity Valley, Georgia Highlands, the College of Southern Idaho, 
the only team that has defeated Western Nebraska this year, and Tyler, Texas. Pensacola State stayed ninth. Joan College moved up one to tenth. Next four teams all moved up one. Wabash Valley 11th, Moberly Area 12th, South Georgia Technical 13th, Eastern Arizona is 14th. New Mexico Junior College made way for all of those teams. They fell five places going one and one, and the loss was to an unranked team. Chipola, Florida stays 16th. Central Arizona moves up one to 17th. Florida Southwestern also up one. They're 18th. Eastern Oklahoma State moved from 21st to 19th. Panola College moved up a pair to 20th. Casper moves up three spots to 21st. They were 1-0, beating the Wyoming All-Stars, which you wouldn't think would be all that good, but apparently teams ahead of them didn't impress the voters all that much. Eastern Florida is 22nd, Salt Lake 23rd, Independence Kansas 24th, and Arizona Western moves in at 25th. They've only lost once, but that was to a good D2 team, Pima. Arizona. Back with the coach after the... Get your Swapper on every Saturday at the Union Bar and Grill. What's a Swapper, you ask? It's a burger topped with fries, topped with pork chili, and lots of cheese. Chili burger on steroids, basically. $10 Tuesdays through January. Get a bucket of domestic beers for only $10. Beef stew every Sunday through January. $2 mimosas every Monday. $3 34-ounce draft every Monday as well. Comfort food at its finest at the Union Bar and Grill on 10th Street in Gehring. I'm Jenny Benson. I taught for 32 years. Educators are used to the challenges of a typical school year, but the last year plus was far from typical. Yet everyone leaned in and found creative ways to adapt, innovate, and persevere. Behind each student were resourceful families and dedicated educators who reached out with open arms of support. Because of all the ways we work together, our students continued to learn, grow, and thrive. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. Your home for WNCC Athletics. Chuck Swartz along with Coach Chad Gidney. See Shane and his crew at Scott Swap Screen Printing for all of your fall and winter sports needs. What's the status on Alicia Douglas, who was injured Sunday? It, yeah, um, she has come back. She practiced uh, yesterday. Um, this was pretty much a full go. Uh, I think there's still obviously a lot of soreness. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it appears that it's not going to be anything that's... Uh, that's too, uh, you know, I don't think it's anything that's going to keep her out in an extended period. So, shouldn't play tonight. Uh, we'll see necessarily how many minutes he plays. But, uh, yeah, she will She will be a go tonight. EWC, not the easiest place to play. I think you'd said the three previous times up there you'd trailed at halftime. Uh, came away with the 21 point win. Yeah, I mean, and, and we shot the ball well, which is good. Uh, they've got a nice team, and, and they put you in difficult spots to guard. Uh, you know, they, they junk it up and just try to they just try to kind of almost ugly the game. Uh, and so, so anytime you can win on the road like that is is a good thing. You know, I was looking. It's only the seventh home game. You've had ten games at neutral sites and three true road games. Of course, the worst is to come in February. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. We're uh, we're enjoying being at home here in the month of January. And then, like you said, it's just a lot of neutral site games. Uh, you know, just with the geography of our region, it kind of is what it is. Um, but we've certainly been a, a team that's been tested, uh, having traveled all over the place. Yeah. Lamar coming in there three and six on the road. Uh, a team that looks like when you look at some of the teams they've played in scores, at times can play pretty darn good. Yeah, they're it's uh, they're they're they've got a good group. There's no doubt about it. Uh, they've got they've got a, some good guards that are able to space the floor. Their forwards play really hard and are physical and go rebound. Um, it, you know, I mean, they they've played some good teams and they've played them they've played them tough. So uh, certainly will be uh, certainly will be a fun one tonight. You know, I was looking and in your career since you took over uh, almost six years ago to the day now, but. Uh, when you took over, Lamar is the only team in the region, and I'm including both North and South, to beat you here at Cougar Palace. Uh, I, I remember it was actually about my first week on the job. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and, and you know what's funny is I remember that night, they uh, it was actually coached by Coach Landon Steele. He's now at uh, Dodge City, and they sat in his zone the whole game uh, and made us make jump shots, and we certainly didn't do it that <laughs> night. Uh, and what's going to be interesting is Lamar will probably do something similar uh, tonight where they're going to sit in their 2-3 zone, and they're going to they're gonna make us... Uh, 
you know, they're going to make us make plays out of it. we got to make sure we don't just settle for the first three, um, but, but get the right ones on inside out and continue to pound the ball inside, um, you know, and make sure that we take advantage of them not having checkout responsibilities on the offensive glass. You know, and your team has been so good this year, I think, on the extra pass against the zone. We have been, and, and especially, I think, after um, a Christmas break, They've done a great job of, of making that extra pass, trading a good shot for a great shot and not holding it at all for a second. It's, it's, it's caught, and it's immediately uh, one more. And so we're going to have to continue to do that tonight. And a little more important, it's a sub-region game, including all the rest of them. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we only have sub-region uh, from here on out. And so I think what that's, that's nine more sub-region games. Um, you know, obviously the goal is to win a, uh, a, South, uh, a South championship. I was looking at stats. You know, the team's averaging 17 steals. And Douglas at nearly four and a half. I think she's second in the nation right now on a per-game average. But you have five others that average more than one steal a game. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we want we want to pressure the ball. We want to dictate, uh, you know, where it goes. And, and we've talked about it constantly. The most important thing that our guards can do is control the pace of the game. And we do feel this year that we are able to play uh, in, in maybe a diff a couple of different ways. We can play a little bit slower. Uh, we can play we can play fast because um, obviously we're trying to make sure that we can, uh, you know, if we get to a national tournament, is be able to be a little bit adaptive. Um, you know, because I think that's what it takes to win, to win a championship. Tonight, Ski to the Games brought to you by Team Auto Center, home of the lifetime warranty on every new vehicle from Team Auto. What's the key to pick up a win? Yeah, I, I think we really just want to be locked in defensively. Um, I, I didn't think we were great in our in our past showing on that end of the court. So if we can, if we can, uh, you know, mess with their timing and because they are pretty uh, structured, if we can mess with their timing, uh, we definitely want to improve there defensively. Uh, and then offensively, I think it'll be a good game for us to, to work our zone offense and be able to uh, attack something that's a little bit different. Best of luck, Coach. Thank you. Chad, give me along with us. Starting lineups are next. You're listening to the High Plains Spas and Recreation pregame show. For Hot Springs Spas and Green Mountain Grills, as well as RV Boat Service and Accessories, it's High Plains Spas and Recreation. They sell fun. Tom, Plows runs his parking lot on Temperature Tuesdays. Take that, Snowdrift. With great horsepower comes great responsibility. Every Tuesday in January and February, the temp at 6 a.m. is the price you pay for an original Runza sandwich when you buy medium fries and a drink. And every Tuesday, the drive through will be drivable. Thanks, Tom. Not all heroes wear capes. I'm wearing one. I know. Temperature Tuesdays are back, and Runza makes it all better. Heritage Estates, a premier provider of long-term care services, is offering an opportunity for the right person to join an excellent organization as a people development coordinator. As our people development coordinator, you will enjoy a variety of duties, including recruitment, orientation, benefits administration, and team member relations. Qualified candidates will have a bachelor's degree in business or human resources or have equivalent experience in their field of human resources slash people development. Heritage Estates offers excellent benefits and an exceptional work environment. Apply online at heritageestates-gearing.com. Your home and away voice for the Cougars, 1013 KOZY. Well, it's been a few days since we've had a home game, and apparently one of the rims or the backboard support underneath the, to help cushion if anybody hits it came loose. So we've got a brief halt while they take care of that. Mind you, the Logos is your home for all of your screen printing and embroidery needs. Shop the showroom or have something custom built at Logos, 1344 10th Street. In Gehring, Lamar suiting only seven players tonight. They have a bunch of injuries, talking to Lauren Bogle, the coach beforehand. Uh, she said one of the seven, actually, that won't be starting, rolled an ankle, but they're suiting her up just in case, reminiscent of that EWC game that happened way back in November when Eastern Wyoming came in on the 16th of November and only suited seven, and Western Nebraska won at 81 to 55. Could happen again tonight just because Lamar, a team that is seven and ten, they're on a bit of a run. They've won two of their last three, but Western Nebraska has won 12 in a row and is 17 and one on the season. Before we have the uh, official starting of the uh, starting lineups, we're going to bring you the national anthem.
Our national anthem. Now time to take a look at the starting lineups. They're brought to you by Western Nebraska Community College. From diplomas to degrees, it's for me. Learn more at wncc.edu. For Lamar, Jolie Ortiz, a 5'6 freshman, 5.5 points, 1.9 rebounds, an assist, and a steal, her averages. Althea Angelis, 5'6 sophomore, 18.1 points, 3.1 rebounds, 4.1 assists, which is 38th in the country, and 2.7 steals. Does a little bit of everything for them. Miley Waters, a 5'6 sophomore, averaging 1.9 points, 1.2 rebounds. Emily Schumacher, a 5'11 freshman, 6.1 points and 2.9 rebounds, along with an assist and a steal. Christina Rojas, a 6-foot sophomore, tallest player for Lamar, 7.7 points, 1.9 rebounds for her. Only one in double digits, that's Angelise. They had six others averaging at least a handful, but two of those will not be suiting tonight. So four average five plus for Lamar. Western Nebraska, Alicia Douglas, 5'4 sophomore, 18.2 points, 13th in the country, 2.9 rebounds, 4.4 assists, which is 33rd, 4.3 steals, second in the country, also 19th in free throw percentage at 86.1, a returning honorable mention All-American. Amani Brown, also a returning honorable mention All-American, coming from Terre Haute, Indiana. The sophomore averaging 11.3 points, 3.2 rebounds. Aminata Z, the 6'2 freshman out of Paris, 9.4 points, 7.4 rebounds. Shante Henry, 5'8 sophomore, Wichita, Kansas, 8.7 points, 1.5 rebounds, 1.8 assists, and a steal. And Peyton Fields, the six-foot sophomore from El Paso, 6.2 points, 5.3 rebounds, an assist, and 1.4 steals. Western Nebraska will be in their home whites. Lamar wearing black with blue and white trim, white numerals. Western Nebraska will go left to right. The opening tip is being brought to you by Papa Murphy's Pizza, 2801 Avenue B in Scotts Bluff. Love at 425 degrees. Don't forget to register for the Papa Murphy's Text Club for a sweet deal. Tip controlled by Western Nebraska Z. Douglas with it near side, and as expected, Lamar in a zone. Douglas drives in. Free throw line jumper is short, but the rebound taken off by Western. Shante Henry buries the three-pointer. 3-0 three Western Nebraska on the three by Henry. Came with 940 remaining. And now a real tough defense, but getting rid of it will be Lamar. Here's the drive by Angelis. And a travel is going to be called. Angeli double teamed there. First turnover, and Western leads 3-0 in the first 35 seconds of the ball game. A three-pointer after a Douglas miss. Douglas swings it left side. Imani Brown, she'll immediately launch the three. It's an air ball. Douglas saves it inbounds, but Lamar there to take it in. Actually, I think Douglas had a foot on the line, so it will be inbounded by Lamar. Ortiz will inbound against the pressure. Gets it into Angelis, and she'll draw a double team. Passes it back to Ortiz. She's across the timeline. Ortiz dishes into the corner. Quick three-pointer taken, but it won't go by Miley Waters. Rebound taken by Lamar. They have a fresh 20 on the shot clock. Setting up behind the screen, Angelis misses badly to the left side of the board. Z goes to the floor to tie up the rebound. It'll be a jump ball, and Lamar will have it on the alternating possession. Still 3 nothing. There's 9 on the shot clock because the ball never hit the iron on the Angelis 3 from the top of the circle. Ortiz to inbound. Looks down low, gets it on the block to Rojas. Her shot won't go, and we'll have another jump ball as Douglas tied that one up with Ortiz. And, of course, this time the possession arrow in the Lady Cougars' favor. 8.49 to go, first quarter of play. Third possession, Western Nebraska. They had a couple of big misses, but they have had a rebound and a Henry three. Z at the free throw line, dishes to Douglas right side, drives into the paint. Shovels it off to Z, comes into the paint, puts it up and in, plus one. She's fouled and will go to the line to shoot a free throw. Z at 6'2", the tallest player on the floor for either squad, makes it 5 nothing with her first two. And Emily Schumacher picks up the 
Foul. Z misses the free throw. Rebound tied up again inside. Boy, we've had three jumps already. Two of them will be in favor of Lamar because of the possession arrow. Rebounding that time with Schumacher. So it'll be inbounded. Starting on the left side, Angelis flips the ball back to Ortiz. Ortiz now jumps it on ahead. Left corner. That's Miley Waters with it, having some trouble. Ortiz, she'll launch a three. It comes off short. Rebound goes across the iron. Fields with the rebound, gets it to Douglas for court. Douglas into the corner. Shante Henry has the three bounce off the board, the glass, the iron, and Z comes up with the deflection. Douglas will launch from outside. This one misses. Z hustling over to try and get the rebound. Can't save it inbounds. So an offensive board goes awry for Western Nebraska. And it'll be inbounded by Ortiz against the press. Press on again. Ortiz has it across with a right-handed dribble. Now picks the dribble up and needs some help. Flips it left side. Waters comes out to take it in. Give it back to Angelis near the center jump circle. Angelis slowly dribbles toward the left side, now drives, hooks it back out to Schumacher. Schumacher fumbled it, gets it back, dishes it outside. Waters can't get the three to go. Fields will tip the rebound outside. Lamar has it. Here's Ortiz faking a three, goes to the top of the circle. Left side pass. Angelis can't shake free. Douglas, good job there, and the pass thrown away by Angelis, trying to get it to Schumacher in the left corner. And it was way upstairs. 5-0. Western Nebraska with the lead. We're in the first quarter of play. Douglas slowly across. Left-handed pass goes to Imani Brown on the left side in front of the Lamar bench. Henry high post to Z. Dribbles into the paint. Put the ball on the floor and it's going to be tied up. And we'll have another jump. This one will be in Western's favor. Boy, four jump balls already and we've played three minutes and one second. Looks like we're going to see Cheyenne Perot, the freshman out of Paris in. Ashley Panham, the sophomore in. Boy, she had a game against DWC the other day. Martise Brooks in. Panham was 16, was just red hot from outside. And let's see who else is out there. Let's see, Perot's going to inbound. It's Isabel Cook is the other to come in. So already nine deep for Western Nebraska. Perot gets it in. Panham banks it home off the glass. Well-designed play, and it's 7-0. Western Nebraska leading as we go inside seven minutes, first quarter of play. Ortiz across. Angelis handles it out top, looks over her shoulder to the coach for instructions. Now puts it on the deck. Flips it right side. That'll be Waters. Waters, a couple of dribbles, nothing there. She'll flip it down low. Z knocks it away. Perot intercepts. Third turnover. Here's the pass to Panam left side. Gets it to Z in the paint. She'll drive. She's triple teamed, and a foul will be called. Z trying to gather herself so she could go up for the shot. Had nowhere to go. And the foul will go against Schumacher, and that is her second of the ball game. She has the only fouls, and it's on the left side to be inbounded by Western Nebraska. Flip it out to Brooks. Brooks had ideas, squared up, decided no. Panam launches the three. It's long, and it goes out of bounds. Second air ball off of a three Western Nebraska has had here in the early going. 7 nothing. however, 6.20 to go, first quarter of play. Ball flipped into the corner to Angelis. Angelis being doubled on the near side, comes up tight roping the sideline, skids to a stop, and travels with the basketball. Evangelis stopped, but her foot didn't, and the travel gives it back to Western Nebraska with 6-11 remaining in the quarter. 7-0, Western Nebraska leading it. They have held opponents in the 30s, or 20s once, 40s once also. Wow. Here's Perot taking the screen, dishes into the right corner. Brooks will drive, puts it off the glass for two. Brooks becomes the fourth player to score for Western. 9-0, 5.50 remaining. Here is Ortiz coming across. It's punched out of bounds by Perot. Lamar will retain possession. Brooks was trying to sneak in from behind to tip it away. Here comes uh, Rashawn Smith in. She's the 10th player to play here in the first quarter, and there's still 5.45 to go in the quarter. Brooks had a shoestring that needed attention. Now we're ready to go, and the ball will be inbounded by Lamar. 
Ortiz, Waters, far side, Angeles. Back out to Waters, who holds it overhead, now flips it onto the right side. Ortiz long way from the hoop. Ortiz fakes left, goes right, drives in, and we're going to have a reach foul called here against Western Nebraska, which is going to result in a pair of free throws. Perot picks up the foul. That'll be the first against Western Nebraska in the game. So Ortiz at the line. It's 80.6% of her free throws. First one goes up and swishes through cleanly. First point on the board for Lamar now. It's 9-1 to one with 532 remaining in the quarter. Second shot, also perfect. And make it 9-2. to two. Ortiz, the two points for Lamar at the stripe. Here's Perot at the point. Douglas came out during that last stoppage. Panham on the left side, dribbles a couple of times, now reverses it to Brooks in the left corner. She'll skip the ball clear over to the near side. Cook, Panham, left side Brooks into the corner. Perot's three-pointer rolls all the way around and comes out. Cook rebounds. Perot with it. She'll drive into the paint. Runner comes off the back of the glass and the rebound to Lamar. Rojas rebounded. Now Angelis across, mile a minute, kicks it into the left corner. Ortiz stepped on the sideline before she started the drive and already a handful of turnovers against Lamar in the ball game. We've got a timeout. 9-2 to Western Nebraska, 4.55 to go first quarter on the West Coast scoreboard. Make the connection. Panhandle Transit Services connects with intercity buses, regional airports, car rentals, health care, and more. Panhandle Transit provides local transportation services in Box Butte and Sheridan counties and intercity bus services throughout the Nebraska Panhandle and Pine Ridge, South Dakota. Accessible vehicles and services are open to the public of all ages, and they're an authorized Medicaid provider. Advanced paid reservations required. Call 308-761-8. Monday through Friday, 9 to 4. That's 308-761-TRIP. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of WNCC Athletics. Advantage Chiropractic and Acupuncture in Scotts Bluff proudly supports the WNCC Cougars. Dr. Levi Bolin can treat all your chiropractic needs. Call Advantage Chiropractic and Acupuncture at 633-1425. Teams will be in action here at Cougar Palace tomorrow. And if you want to see the Cougars play some basketball, you better be here in the month of January. Women are on the road the entire month of February. The men all but one game, and that's their final regular season game against North Platte, which will also be a sub-region game. So tomorrow, 2 and 4 o'clock, if you can make it to Cougar Palace. If not, thanks for being along on 101.3 KOZY. 9-2 9-2 following the timeout. Western Nebraska with it. Perot at the point. Angling to the right side. Reverses the pass to Cook. Goes high post. Panham turns. 14-footer is short. Rashawn Smith with the rebound. She'll put it in. Her first two of the ball game. Averaging 5.8 makes it 11-2. to two. Double team on. Pass to Ortiz who saved it from going over and back. Ortiz to Angelis left side. She'll take a screen from Schumacher. Flips it down to Schumacher, and she traveled with the basketball. Shuffled her feet as she got the pass. Shot was rejected by Smith, and I might mention on that. Smith's averaging 1.2 blocks. That's just outside the top 50 in the country right now, and she's averaging seven and a half minutes a game. Brooks with it on top. Gives it right back to Panem on the elbow. Brooks between the circles. One dribble, now left side Perot. Burrow gets it down to Cook. She'll give it to Smith. She'll put it up, draw the foul. The ball bounced off the back iron twice. Would not fall in. So Smith is going to the line to shoot a pair. Angelus picks up her first. That will be the third against Lamar. And Smith, who shoots 74% from the line, misses the first one. Still 11 to 2. Western Nebraska with the lead in the ball game. 17 and 1 for Western Nebraska, 7 and 10 for Lamar. Smith hits the second. She has 3 already, her high this year, 18 against Miles. Double team in the middle, but the pass off from Waters flips it near side. Schumacher will track it down, saves it from being a turnover on the left wing. Now the ball knocked away by Cook. 
trying to save it inbounds, ran out of room on the baseline. Panam also hustling over to try and get it. And the ball will be Lamar's with 14 on the shot clock, 347 on the game clock. We're in the first quarter, big lead for Western Nebraska. Ball taken by Ortiz. She'll give it to Schumacher on the left side. Drives into the paint, and it's rejected by Smith. Saved inbounds by Cook. Turnover against Lamar. Brooks gives it to the trailer, Perot. She'll skip it on across. Panham trying to save it inbounds. Can't. She was trying to give it to Cook, who was cutting to the baseline. Cook didn't know the pass was coming. Panham realized it, but could not get there to save it in the first turnover against Western Nebraska. Douglas, Brown, Henry, Fields, and Z, the starting lineup back in for Western Nebraska. They've already played 10 in the ball game, and we're in the first quarter. Angelisa Cross calling out a play. Brown on her defensively. Angelie averages 18.1. Sets up, three-point bomb goes in. First fielder for Lamar, Angelis, makes it 12-5. Western Nebraska. Douglas started in and backs away. She's trying to get Imani Brown to set up on the right side. Gives it to Henry on the left. Down to Fields on the baseline. Outside Henry. Right side Brown. Back to Henry. Sets up against the zone. Passes to Z. It was knocked away. Z has it. She'll turn. Gives to Henry with five on the shot clock. Brown fakes. Drives. Loses the handle on it. Consecutive turnovers on Western Nebraska. Angelis hurries it into the forecourt, goes right side to Thalia Guardiola, who is in for the first time. Guardiola gives it right back to Angelis. Nice fake. Angelis open for another three. This one barely draws iron, and it's out of bounds. Touch last by Lamar. So six of the seven who are suited for Lamar have been in the ball game. Perot comes in. Brown goes out. Ten have played for Western Nebraska. 2.25 to go in the quarter. 12-5. Close as it's been since that 7-0 opening run in the first three minutes for Western Nebraska. Henry to Fields, finds Perot in the paint, right side, Douglas wide open for the three, count it. Douglas has been in doubles every game except the last one when she left an injury midway through the third. Here's Ortiz across, changing hands on the dribble, now flips it ahead to Guardiola. Guardiola, a couple of dribbles, right back to Ortiz, out between the circles. Henry on her defensively, trying to drive down left side. Ball's knocked away, and they'll say off Western Nebraska. A minute 45 to go in the quarter, 15-5. to five. Western Nebraska leads, and Ortiz to inbound. She'll get it into Rojas, who hasn't handled it very much. Now Angelis, shot clock's at six. I don't know if Angelis realizes it, drives. Dishes outside to Rojas, and there's the shot clock expiration. Eighth turnover against Lamar, and we have a minute 33 to go in the first quarter. 15-5, to five, Western Nebraska with the lead. They jumped out 9-0 with 5.50 to go. Pro, Z out between the circles. Henry right side, flips it to Douglas in the corner. The three-pointer rims out. Z has the rebound. We're going to have an over-the-back foul called against Z, and that will be her first of the ball game. So Lamar to inbound, trailing 15 to 5, minutes 17 to go. Rojas to inbound this time. Rojas against the press. We'll get it into Angelis. Angelis on ahead with it to Guardiola in the paint. Gets it down to Schumacher. She'll miss the shot. Z rebounds. Here's Perot with it. Perot, left side, Douglas. Douglas wheels, deals, comes into the paint, draws the foul. Douglas will go to the line, and we'll have a chance to shoot a pair as Ortiz will pick up her first foul for Lamar. Douglas went four out of five in her most recent game where she had some appearances at the stripe. As we said, hitting 86.1% coming into this one. Douglas has one more coming here. This one goes in, so one out of two for her. Now we are going to see for Lamar, Waters come back in. She was a starter, had a uniform change, 5'6 sophomore out of Brighton, Colorado. 
didn't have her uniform on the trip. They had a spare. Here's the ball intercepted by Douglas, shovels it to field. She misses the layup, gets the ball back, puts it up, and draws the foul. Fields will go to the line after the ninth turnover, and that'll be Ortiz picking up her second in the last three seconds playing time-wise. So Fields at the line to see if she can get her name in the scorebook. So far, half a dozen Western Nebraska players have scored, and Fields has that one trickle in as it hit the front, then the backboard, and then fell in. So Fields with her first. And makes the second one also for her second point. Douglas made both of hers, so it's 19 to 5, Western Nebraska. Hebbard comes in out of Vilas, Colorado for Lamar. On ahead, here's the three-pointer by Waters. It won't go. Rebound Z, Western Nebraska with it. Perot with her head up looking, fires the ball to Douglas in the left corner offensively. She'll drive. Ball's partially blocked. Schumacher comes away with it. Lamar with the ball. Ortiz through traffic, dribbles into the paint, jumps a pass down into the corner to Waters. Get it low on the block. Shot taken under pressure by Hebbard. Won't go. Rebound. Here's Fields with the pass on ahead to Douglas. And Douglas lays it in. Douglas makes it 21-5. to five. We have 17 seconds to go in the quarter. Waters launches a three. It's off the back iron. Fields rebound. Still eight seconds to go. Fields looking down court, wanting to find somebody. Dishes to Henry. She'll launch. It's off the iron at the buzzer. And after a quarter, it is Western Nebraska 21 and Lamar 5 on the West Coast scoreboard. When you fill your prescriptions at Walgreens, you can track the progress of your order in real time. Know the price of your prescriptions before you go to pick them up. And anytime you have questions, use Pharmacy Chat to ask an expert 24 hours a day. Help with your meds from Walgreens. Side effects may include breathing a little easier because your prescription stress melted away. <sighs> Learn more on the Walgreens app. This price isn't final. This is an estimated price based on your insurance coverage. Your local Staples is saying thanks in a big way. Right now, earn a $30 Staples store bonus when you spend $100 in store. Get custom printing or signage for your business, earn a $30 bonus. Get the latest tech, earn a $30 bonus. Get supplies for your classroom, earn a $30 bonus. It's that easy. Set yourself up for success in the new year by exploring what's new at Staples, the working and learning store. Limit one ends 122. Rewards members only. Bonus must be redeemed in store. See staplesconnect.com slash store bonus for details. Your exclusive home for WNCC Athletics, 1013 KOZY. Western Nebraska leads 21 5 after the first quarter. Douglas with seven. Henry has three. Brooks, Panham, Fields with two. Smith has three. Angeles has a three pointer, and Ortiz made a pair of free throws for Lamar in the quarter. We're ready to go, and it'll be Guardiola to inbound. Freshman out of Henderson, Colorado. Flips it to Schumacher in the forecourt. She'll hand it away, and Angelis, trying to use the screen, goes clear over to the right side, sets up, now takes a left-handed dribble toward the left side, passes it to Waters, and the ball's intercepted. Martise Brooks comes up with it. Brooks brings it down coast to coast, and it's going to be an offensive foul against Brooks. So a turnover against Lamar, a turnover against Western Nebraska, and Brooks picks up her first foul. We played 18 seconds in the quarter. Hebbard will inbound it. Hebbard flips the ball into traffic. It's knocked away, and Brooks comes up with it. Another turnover on Lamar. Panham. Brooks in the corner. She'll drive on the side. Puts it in under pressure for her first two of the game. Eight have scored now for Western Nebraska. 23-5. to five. Pass ahead to Schumacher. Back to Angelis. Swing it across to Waters. Back to Angelis. Angelis trying to spin, draws a double team anytime she tries to drive. Brooks fights through a screen to stay with her. Angelis, high post, Hebbard. She'll launch from 18. It comes away to Cook on the rebound for Western Nebraska. Baseball pass ahead to Panham. Hooks it into the corner to Brooks. Cook at the free throw line. Perot open on the right side and count the three-pointer. 
So nine have scored for Western Nebraska, and it's 26 to five. High pass taken in by Hebbard. Hebbard gave it away to Guardiola, got it right back into the corner to Waters. Waters, not a great scorer, at least according to the stats. She gets rid of it quickly. Here's Angelis, left side. Couldn't uh, stay away from Brooks, who fought through the Schumacher screen. Here's the pass down to Schumacher. She'll put it in with the left hand. Nice move. Changed hands on the way up to score and makes it 26-7. to Western Nebraska ball knocked out of bounds by Guardiola of Lamar. Western will retain with 8.15 to go, 26-7. Western Nebraska leading the nation in scoring at 91 points a game. They've been over the century mark four times, and in the 90s, half a dozen. Brooks has it, high post, Panham. Panham flips it to Perot left side. Fakes right, goes left, skips the ball to Brooks right corner. Brooks drives into the paint, jump stop back to Perot. The high arching three goes in again. Perot with a back-to-back -back threes, 29-7, to seven, Western Nebraska. Angelis across, jumps a pass, and Brown intercepts it. Brown comes out of traffic with the basketball after the 12th turnover against Lamar. Brooks up on the right side with it, pulls up, goes to Brown between the circles. Perot left side, Panham down on the baseline. She'll draw a double team from the zone back out to Perot. Perot whistles it into the right corner to Brown. Fakes, drives, 15-footer, comes up short. Cook with the rebound, and we're going to have a foul on the floor. It'll go against Lamar. That will go against Hebbard. That's the first against Alyssa Hebbard. Shante Henry comes in. Brooks goes out for Western Nebraska. Perot right side of the board to inbound it. Looks to the left side, finds Henry in the corner. She'll take the shot, but her rear foot was on the sideline. She made the three. That tells you how far out she was. But the turnover against Western Nebraska negates the shot. Rojas will come in for Lamar now. And looks like Douglas back in. She's in and out a little more frequently because of those ribs that were injured on Sunday. Hebbard will inbound. Taken in by Angelis. Angelis flips it to Ortiz, who races into the forecourt. And out of bounds as the pass was received by Waters with her foot on the sideline. Had several of those in this ball game now for both sides. Douglas across with that left-handed dribble. Right side to Henry, lobs down to Panham. Panham out to Brown, fakes left, drives into the paint, dishes it into the corner. Douglas for three, it bounds away. Rebound fought for, taken in by Lamar finally as the ball was volleyballed around. Here's a pass on ahead to Ortiz. She'll drive, misses the layup, rebound tipped up. Here comes Panham with it, long pass ahead to Cook. Cook for the layup for two. And Cook scores to become the 10th player for Western Nebraska. Now the ball stolen away. Douglas with it. She'll hook the ball off to Brown. She's open. The three's off the back iron. And Panham is going to be called for the foul, trying to fight through and uh, get the rebound there. That will be Panham's first. Second against Western in the quarter. 30-7. to seven. Western Nebraska with the lead. I think they've got the score wrong over there, but that wouldn't be anything new. We'll have to check, though, at halftime and add things up. Here's Angelis across. Lamar with it. Long shot by Waters. Too strong on the three. Panham rebounds. Panham bounce pass into traffic to Cook. Now knocked away, but recovered. Panham has it out to Brown. She's open for the three, but it won't go. And an over-the-back foul called against uh, Shante Henry trying to tip it outside to a teammate. So Henry with her first foul. One of those threes apparently was a two for Perot because it is showing nine points. So one, three, one, two so far. Here's Lamar on the inbound. Four court, Waters. Right side open was Rojas, turned down the shot, gets it to Angelis, and she'll be fouled as she takes the pass in, goes tumbling to the court. 
That'll be Isabel Cook with her first. So the third on Western Nebraska, it'll be a non-shooting foul. Inbounded by Ortiz down to the right side. Ortiz flips it into traffic, getting rid of Hebbard into the corner. Three won't go for Waters. Rebound to Monty Brown. Brown races down, gives it to Douglas, and her shot's rejected out of bounds from behind by Angelis. Angelis only 5'6", but Douglas only 5'4", and Angelis timed that one well to block what was an apparent layup for Douglas. Left side, Henry to inbound it. Henry gets it to Douglas, spins out of a double team, jumps a pass low that's tipped, taken by Cook, now Panham, now Brown. Brown fakes, drives, flips it down low. It was a bad pass, anticipating well. Lamar intercepts. Pass ahead to Angeli. She'll whip it to Schumacher. She'll lay it in. Schumacher with a second layup in the quarter for her in traffic. Douglas, right side, Brown. Into the corner, Henry. Too strong with the three, but it hit the iron, went to the top of the backboard, and drops in safely. Henry with six. 33-9, Western Nebraska. Ortiz into the forecourt against Brown. Ortiz wanting the screen from Schumacher has to get rid of the ball. Schumacher now takes it in after a pass from Rojas. Schumacher driving in on Cook, spins, puts the jump hook up. It's short. Panham with the rebound. Western Nebraska on the run. Panham brings it right down the middle, misses the layup, however, under pressure. Rebound Lamar. Get it to Angeli. She's going to race into the forecourt. Flips it down onto the right side. The shot won't go for Rojas. Rebound again, Western. Here's Douglas on the run. Douglas pulls up at the free throw line, gives it back to Brown. Now on the far side, Shante Henry. Buries that three-pointer, her third three in the ball game. And we're going to have timeout taken with 4.16 remaining in the first half of play. It's 36-9 Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard. Time now for a weather update brought to you by Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. From start to finish, you can find all the supplies for your home improvement project at Menards. Westco has a long history of rewarding our loyal members who support our agronomy, feed, Jordan, petroleum, new alliance, and western aviation divisions. In 2021, Westco paid $4 million in cash back to members of our communities. Memberships include business, consumer, and producer options. Take advantage of our competitive patronage rates by picking up a membership application from your nearest Westco location. Westco, service, solutions, success. Westco is your best value through and through. Your home for Cougar Athletics, 101.3 KOZY. Four minutes, 16 seconds remaining in the uh, first half of play. It's all Western Nebraska. Lamar very limited tonight, only suited seven players. They're seven and ten, won two of their last three, but Western Nebraska has won 12 in a row and is 17 and one on the season. And Shante Henry with those three threes is now up to 18th in the career three-pointers. Angelis flips the ball ahead as play resumes for Lamar. Guardiola far side and the ball out of bounds. Threw it too, too hard from too close a distance for Ortiz to handle. And the 15th turnover. That's already matching the average this season that Lamar turns it over. Here's Perot to the right side. Hands off to Brianna Fowler, who's in, 11th player now. Fowler will launch a three, but it's off the back iron. Fields takes the long rebound for Western. Perot will load up from the top. It rims out. Z rebounds, gives it to Fields. She'll try again. This one bounds away. And we're going to have a foul called here against Z, I believe. Yes. Z will pick up her second, trying to establish some rebounding position there. And Lamar will have the ball. Western missed three threes on that trip down. Here's Angelis with it. She'll race ahead as Yada Garcia in, playing her on defense. Guardiola drives paint. Ball's taken away. Z comes up with it to Fields. Fields has it knocked free, and we're going to have Lamar come up with it. So turnovers both directions. 
Here's Ortiz. Left side, Guardiola. Outside to Waters, and she'll hit this three-pointer. First points for Miley Waters. That makes it 36-12. Western Nebraska with the lead. Fowler. Garcia. Right side, Perot. Perot looking low, but there were two Western Nebraska players pretty close together. Fowler gets it to Fields. Pass in the middle. Tipped away. Turnover. As Schumacher comes up with it, now it's knocked free. Knocked free again. Z gets it, so a turnover against Lamar. Perot ahead to Fowler. Comes into the paint. Tries to shovel it to Garcia. Is knocked away. Fowler gets it back. Perot misses a three. And the ball's out of bounds off of Western Nebraska. 2.39 to go in the half. Well, I thought it was off Western. Everybody's staying down at this end, so let's wait and see. Now it's just the press is going to be on by Western now. Ball will be inbounded by Waters, who just hit the three-pointer for Lamar. She'll bounce it into Angelis. Angelis in front of the Lamar bench breaks through a crush of players. Four court now, Ortiz with it. Guardiola, she'll whip a pass across baseball style to the other side. Waters can't get the shot off. Guardiola saves a bad pass inbounds. Shot clock now at 10 as Angelis comes to the left side, launches and hits. Angelis with her second three of the ball game. 36-15, consecutive three-pointers by Lamar have cut into the big lead Western head. Fowler will find Garcia, now Perot on the right side. Perot between the legs on the dribble, skips the pass to Fowler. Outside Garcia sets up and hits the three-pointer. The all-time leading scorer for Scott's Bluff High has her first points. 39-15, Western Nebraska. Guardiola drives, dishes it back out. Angelis has it rim out. Z rebounds for Western Nebraska. Perot ahead to Garcia. Flip it to Fowler in the corner. Her three-pointers off the back iron. And the long rebound to Guardiola of Lamar. She'll bring it up two on two. Guardiola goes to the right side. Puts it off the glass. It won't go. Z rebounds. Perot was the defender. Z coming back to help out. 39-15, Western Nebraska. Fields, Perot, right side. Fowler with it against the zone. No look pass to Z at the free throw line. She'll drive, lays it in. Z with her second fielder of the game. She came in as the leading scorer, or leading field goal shooter in the nation. 41-15, 55 seconds to go in the first half. Guardiola can't advance it. Goes to Waters, she'll take a shot, and Fields will be called for the foul. Peyton Fields with her first, and that will put a two-shotter at the line for Miley Waters. Waters had not shot any free throws this year. I'm sure part of the reason she's in there is because of the injuries right now, because Rather insignificant numbers, 1.9 points, 1.2 rebounds, hadn't shot a free throw this year. But she's got two coming here, and she makes that one. That makes it 41-16. to 16. Western Nebraska leading with just under 50 seconds to go. Second shot goes in for Waters. And we've got timeout. 41-17, Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard. Be the envy of the neighborhood with the new Green Mountain Grill from High Plains Spas and Recreation. In addition to Green Mountain Grills, High Plains Spas and Recreation also has the pellets, cooking spices, rib racks, smoking shelves, covers, and other accessories, as well as replacement parts. If they don't have what you need, they could get it. Yep, get a Green Mountain Grill and be that neighbor that's always admired for the wonderful, yummy barbecue smells. High Plains Spas and Recreation. Open 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, 1725 East Overland in Scotts Bluff. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of the Cougars. 41 to 17, Western Nebraska on top in the first half of this ball game. 11 different players have scored for Western Nebraska in the game so far. I think everybody that's played other than Fowler. So 12 have played, 11 have scored. Perot lets the ball roll nearly to the timeline before picking it up. Here's Panham launching a three that barely draws iron. Brooks will muscle the shot in, and she has her second hoop of the game. Now the double team on Angelis. She'll get it ahead to Hebbard. 
Hebbard skips the pass left corner and the three-pointer for Guardiola for her first points for Lamar. 43 to 20. We're inside 20 seconds to go now in the first half. Looks like Perot will use some time up, try for the last shot. We're at 12 seconds to go. Now Perot comes up left side, gets it in the corner to Brooks, down to Smith. Smith, nice spin move, lays it in with four seconds to go. At the timeline, Angelis will launch. It won't count if it goes, and it's off the back iron. Just missed getting that shot away in time, but at halftime, it is Western Nebraska, 45, and Lamar playing with only seven players, 20 on the West Coast scoreboard. Tired of choosing between errands and adventures? Platte Valley Bank can help you take care of everything without missing anything. Next time you get a check, just sign, snap, and send the money directly into your account with mobile deposit. We can't fill your fridge, but we can save you a trip to the bank. Mark another errand off your list and get back to life. You're busy. We make it easy. You belong here. Platt Valley Bank. Member FDIC. It takes a lot to run your business, and a lot has changed. What hasn't changed is the professional partnership with your business and ENH CPAs and management consultants. When you include their team, they will develop a plan to assist with your accounting, tax planning, valuation services, and even litigation support and exit planning. Then you can focus on day-to-day -day responsibilities. Troy Hilliard, Lindsey Matthews, and Seth Cobalt will guide your business into the future. ENH CPAs and management consultants PC. Innovative. Trusted. Proven. When you decide to sell your car, there are so many more options than ever before. Do not overlook Team Auto Center as a top-rated buyer for your old vehicle. No need to trade it in on a new one. Team Auto Center will give you a fair market price for your vehicle with no expectation of you purchasing from us. Come experience the difference at Team Auto Center or visit us online at teamautocenter.net. Your home for WNCC Athletics. KOZY 101.3 bringing you all of the Cougar games. Right now, Western Nebraska cruising against Lamar 45-20. to Jumped out to a 9-0 lead with 5.50 to go in the first quarter. Pair of free throws by Jolie Ortiz for Lamar made it 9-2, but Western Nebraska jumped back, and it was 21-5 at the quarter. A couple of threes, or let's see, excuse me, a two and a three. I thought one was a three, but a foot on the line, so it was only a two. Made it 26 to five before Lamar could score. It was 36-9 with 4.16 to go when the under five minute timeout was taken. And Western Nebraska just continued to add on, but Lamar actually outscored them in the last 4.16, 11 to nine to make it 45-20 at halftime. Western Nebraska leading. We'll look at individual scoring when we come back. Are you tired of lousy internet and faceless customer service? It's time to experience local, honest, hassle-free, and exceptional. That's the Allo promise. We not only provide crazy fast fiber internet, crystal clear TV, and dependable phone service, but we choose to become a part of the communities we serve and love when everyone calls or stops by our store to say Allo. So don't settle for mediocre, settle for exceptional with Allo. Visit us at allofiber.com slash local. No job is ever done without the right fuels. This is Brian from Dooley Oil. In this country, our extreme conditions call for extreme measures. We carry both red and clear diesel treated with power service to keep injectors clean and add lubricity and avoid gelling up in cold weather. We also offer a full line of house products designed to keep you on the road and field. Committed to service, Dooley Oil offers delivery too. Stop in at 2475 North 10th Street on the Scottsdale Hearing Highway or call 633-2764. Advantage Chiropractic and Acupuncture in Scott's Bluff supports the WNCC Cougars. Treating your chiropractic needs from newborn to 100 years old. Dr. Levi Bolin can treat all of your hurts, pains, aches, and injuries. If you are experiencing pain in your head, neck, shoulders, arms, mid or low back, or down to your legs, call for an appointment today. Advantage Chiropractic is also fully certified with Optum VA. If you know a veteran that needs chiropractic care, call Levi today. Advantage Chiropractic and Acupuncture, 308-633-1425. Go Cougars! Your home and away voice for the Cougars, 1013 KOZY. 
Western Nebraska leads it at halftime 45-20 over the Lamar women. Let's look at scoring for the running lopes of Lamar. They've been led by Aletha Angelis. No surprise there. She has a pair of threes. has been hounded all over the court. She has six points. She averages 18.1. Waters has five, a three-pointer, and two for two at the line. Emily Schumacher making a couple of tough close-in shots for her four points. Valia Guardiola has hit a three from the left corner for her three. Jolie Ortiz made a pair of free throws. The first points for Lamar back in the first quarter for her two. Playing but not scoring, Christina Rojas and Alyssa Hebert. Seven have played. That's all seven who have suited, and five have scored in the first half for Lamar. We'll look at Western Nebraska's scoring when we come back. Again, 45-20. Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard. Are you fed up with the cattle not getting what they need from the forages they're on? Need something to help bridge that gap? That's where Purina Rangeland Protein Tubs come in. They have consistent intake and nutrient delivery that help to eliminate overconsumption. They also provide high-quality bypass proteins to maximize animal performance and have trace minerals that aim to promote better fertility, immune function, and overall health. So stop struggling. Stop by Mark Rag to get your Purina Rangeland protein tubs today. Located at 718 21st Avenue in Scotts Bluff. It's not just any business, it's your business. I'm Jackie Shaneman, Commercial Lines Producer at J.G. Elliott Insurance Center. You put your heart into building your business, and we are here to support you every step of the way. From property insurance to workers' compensation to a business owner's policy. Together, we will discover the right insurance coverage to protect what you have worked so hard for. Stop by at 1110 Circle Drive or visit us online at jgelliot.com. J.G. Elliott, a Platte Valley company. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of WNCC Athletics. Western Nebraska cruising at halftime right now with a uh, score of 45 to 20. We've looked at Lamar's scoring. Now to take a look at Western Nebraska. It's Shante Henry with three threes and nine points in leading. Alicia Douglas with seven, a two, a three, and two of two at the line. Then five points for Sean Smith. Smith has missed the only free throw Western Nebraska has missed in the game. They're five of six at halftime, but Lamar's four of four. Four points for Aminata Z, four for Martise Brooks, five for Cheyenne Perot on a two and a three. Isabel Cook has a pair. Peyton Fields has made two free throws for her two. Ashley Panham also with two. Amani Brown with two, and Yada Garcia hit a three for her three. Playing but not scoring, Brianna Fowler. 12 have played, 11 have scored for Western Nebraska. We'll look at team stats in comparison when we come back. 45-20, Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard. Hi, this is Larry from Russell's Automotive. Listen up, car enthusiasts. Here at Russell's Automotive, we sell and service performance exhaust systems. Let our exhaust professionals get you all set up. The custom system includes dual or single exhaust, choice of Magnapro or Flowmaster muffler, installed with tips of your choice. Call Russell's Automotive for more information. Let's get this project started. Call 308-635-4065 or stop by at 112 West 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. You can take the trailer out of Texas, but you can't take the Texas out of the trailer. PJ Trailers are built in Texas with the same attention to detail to hold up to the hardworking professional using them. Ryan's Welding and Trailer Sales in Scotts Bluff is your authorized PJ Trailer dealer with a wide variety of sizes. ATV trailers, car haulers, equipment trailers, tilt deck, and gooseneck trailers. Ryan's is also a full-service welding shop. Stop by 1110 Avenue B in Scotts Bluff or call 308-575-0710. Your exclusive home for WNCC Athletics, 101.3 KOZY. Western Nebraska ahead 45-20 to 20 at halftime. Turnovers unofficially 17 on Lamar. They average 15 a game, 7 against Western Nebraska. Rebounding a 31-20 advantage for the Lady Cougars. They came in averaging 46 rebounds a game, allowing 37, while Lamar... 33 rebounds and giving up 30. Leading Lamar in rebounding is Christina Rojas with four. Emily Shoemaker has three. Schumacher, excuse me, has three. For Western Nebraska, out of their 31, Z has eight already. Six each, Peyton Fields and Isabel Cook. 
and uh, steals. Douglas has two. Perot has two for Western Nebraska. Ortiz has two for Lamar. A couple more team stats to bring you when we come back. 45-20, Western Nebraska women leading it on the West Coast scoreboard. Buyers Realty has been helping people in the community find their dream home since 1994. If you're looking to buy or sell your home, our friendly team will put in the work to reach the finish line. We also do property management for buildings in Scotts Bluff, Caring, and beyond. You can find an extensive list of our properties by visiting our website at callbuyersrealty.com or visit us at our Scotts Bluff offices on Avenue B, next to Bumper to Bumper. Hand handles best, Buyers Realty. Community strong, community proud. We have what you're looking for. Katie. Remember the day you made me the happiest man alive? I asked if you wanted to live to the fullest. To wake up every morning savoring potato olays, fluffy scrambled eggs, and breakfast burritos from Taco John's, and you said... Get your hands off my burrito. Oh, Katie, I love when you whisper sweet nothings. Wake up and go with bigger, bolder, better breakfast. Only at Taco John's. drive through open at 6 a.m., dining room open at 8. Taco John's, with locations in Scotts Bluff, Gearing, and Bridgeport. Your home for Cougar Athletics, 101.3 KOZY. Western Nebraska ahead by 25 points at halftime, 45 to 20. Looking at shooting, Lamar is 2 out of 15 on twos. That's 13%. 4 out of 14 on threes for 29%. And overall, 6 of 29, which is 21% from the floor. They are a perfect 4 of 4 in free throwing. Western Nebraska has made half of their two-point shots, 11 of 22. They've only made about a quarter of their threes, however. They've launched 23, actually more than they've taken of twos, and have made six of those for 26%. Overall, 17 of 45 from the floor, that's 38%. And on free throws, Western Nebraska, let's see, two, four, five of six at halftime for Western Nebraska as a team, which is 83%. Western Nebraska will play NJC tomorrow at home at 2 o'clock. Men will follow at 4 o'clock those all sub-region games. Western Nebraska with the big lead. Both teams back out to shoot around as we prepare for the third quarter of play. Team Auto Center is a different car buying experience, and we want customers for life. Here's another way to prove it. Now, when you purchase a new vehicle from Team Auto Center, it'll come with a lifetime warranty at no extra cost. That's right. Purchase a brand new vehicle from Team Auto Center and get a lifetime warranty. One low price. Plain, simple, and always. And now, a lifetime warranty. Ask one of our sales consultants for details or visit teamautocenter.net. GMC, we are professional grade. Take advantage of volume discounts during West Coast Cenex oil sale. Restock your lubricant and grease needs for 2022, and as an added bonus, earn a $50 Visa gift card with every 125 gallons of Cenex product purchased. Don't delay. These programs expire February 28, 2022. So contact your local Westco representative today. Westco, service, solutions, success. Goes your best value through and through. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of the Cougars. One correction on individual stats while well, in team. Also, Aminata Z 0 for 1 at the line. She missed on that uh, three-point opportunity earlier. So Western Nebraska 5 of 7 for 71% at halftime. Western Nebraska 17 and 1. They're 1 and 0 oh in the sub-region. Lamar is 1 and 1 in the sub-region right now. Lamar was they lost to NJC after defeating McCook yeah, earlier this week in ball games. Check that to make sure it's trying to go with memory, and sometimes that doesn't work. Actually, they beat NJC, lost at McCook to go one and one in the sub. Western Nebraska beat McCook to go one and oh in the South Sub Region. This year, the North Sub Region champion will host the Region 9 tournament. Foul situation Ortiz has a pair, Schumacher has two for Lamar, one each on Angelis and Hebert. For Western Nebraska, Z has two. 
And then one each on Brooks, Henry, Panham, Fields, Perot, and Cook. We'll have the third quarter coming up right after this. As Auld Lang Syne plays in the background, you sigh the relief that the holiday season has come to a close and the last thing on your mind is insurance. But if you received a new ATV, piece of jewelry, golf equipment, or even an electronic tablet, you may need an increase in coverage to protect them. The friendly agents at Classic One Insurance in Scotts Bluff and Gearing would be happy to discuss coverage options. Stop in and talk with a Classic One Insurance agent today. Classic One Insurance, it's always something. Your home for WNCC Athletics. Might mention uh, Shante Henry with those three threes in the first half is now 18th on the career list. Of course, Douglas and a lot of the top 20s in career lists right now also. When she made those two free throws earlier, uh, she's only eight away from being third in career-made free throws. Steals with a pair. She's now ninth in that category. So the numbers just keep accumulating for Douglas, the returning honorable mention All-American. Of course, the transfer in this year, Imani Brown, also an honorable mention All-American last year. That was at Vincennes in Indiana. Ready to go here. It'll be Shante Henry to inbound the ball. Douglas is also in. Z, Fields, and Brown. So the same starters for Western Nebraska. Shante Henry picks the pace up, gives to Douglas, takes it to the left side, reverses it out to Henry, open for the three, but it comes off the iron. Z rebounds, muscles in, and puts it in. Z has missed a free throw, but she's three for three from the floor. 47 to 20, Western Nebraska leading early third quarter. Pressure on, but the ball comes off to Angeles. Her free throw line jumper too strong. Rebound Schumacher outside. Fresh 20 on the shot clock for Lamar. Angeles taking it left side, flips it in the middle to Schumacher in traffic. She'll get it down on the wing. Shot won't go for Rojas. And the rebound saved in bounds by Lamar, but right to Douglas. Western Nebraska with the basketball. Douglas, hesitation move, goes out to Brown, and she's open for the three. It rolls all the way around and comes out, and Z cleans up and puts it back for her eighth point. 49-20, to 20, and we played basically a minute. Pressure on, but again, Angelis takes the pass in, bounces it to Schumacher. She'll miss the baseline five-footer. Douglas spins out of pressure from Waters and now brings it to the timeline. 49-20, Western Nebraska. 12 players have been in for Western so far. Out of the 14, they suit. Henry cross-courts it to Brown. Right side field. She'll drive paint, puts it up, draws the foul. Fields crashed hard. Teammates rush over to help her up, and she'll go to the line. And we'll end up shooting a pair of free throws here a minute and a half in. That will be Rojas with her first. First on Lamar as a team here in the third quarter. Fields has made her only two free throws of the game so far. This one a friendly hop. She has it three for three. 49, excuse me, 50 to 21, Western Nebraska. Scoreboard put the points up on the wrong side. Second shot goes in, so 51 as Fields now has four free throws in four attempts. Pressure on, Ortiz breaks out of that one, gives it to Angelis. Angelis, fine athlete, changes hands on the dribble, brings it right down the middle, dishes out right side, water's open, the three's too strong, Henry rebounds, Henry clears it to Z, she'll get rid of it to Brown, Brown wheels into the corner, Douglas 15-footer is short, Douglas gets her own rebound, she'll drive, put it off the glass for two. Douglas nearing double digits, it's 53-20. to 20. We're two minutes into the third quarter of play. Ortiz, nice move. Free throw line jumper. Bounces around and goes in. Ortiz, her first fielder, her fourth point. 53-22. Douglas calling out a play as she brings the ball across for the Lady Cougars. Brown, now Henry with it. Henry skips it to Douglas, right corner. Right back to Henry on the elbow, the extra pass. Brown drives in, baseline 10-footer too strong. Z rebounds and is fouled as she goes up for the shot. 
can't get it to go, but she'll be at the line to shoot a pair as Z with another offensive rebound in this ball game. That'll be uh, Schumacher with her third personal foul. She had two in the first quarter, now one in the third. Z has three offensive rebounds this half, equaling what she had in the entire first half of play. Z missed the first, hits the second. Z nearing double digits also with nine. 54-22, Western Nebraska. Ortiz across against the press. Hebbard, or excuse me, Abby Waters now, and the ball's knocked away. Brown comes up with it, flips it on ahead, and Douglas, all by herself, lays it in. She's in double digits for the 18th time out of 19 games. We mentioned she was injured in the third quarter, didn't get to finish the EWC game. Waters races into the forecourt in front of the Lamar bench, now comes into the middle, makes a bad pass, Fields intercepts. Peyton Fields, no look pass, Douglas, and she'll be fouled as she goes up for the shot. Angelis trying to delay the hook there as long as she could, but caught her on the arm, and Angelis with her second personal foul. That will put Douglas at the stripe again. She's been there once, made both of the free throws. 56-22, Western Nebraska with the lead. And Douglas, who is averaging 18.2 points, will be at the line. We don't know how much more time she'll get in this one, however. She hits the free throw. Now three of three in this game. 57-22, Western Nebraska. Douglas wishes the second one home. Now Douglas out, Perot in. And it's 58 to 22. Press and Angelis takes the pass. Left-handed dribble is across. We're going to have a bump foul against Brooks. Trying to force her to the sideline. And Brooks has her second personal. Western Nebraska with uh, one foul so far third quarter. Angelis left side. Brooks on her. Trying to take a screen from Schumacher. Angelis has to go behind the back on the dribble. Can't shake free. Rojas with it. Back to Angelis. Into the corner. Ortiz faked a three. Drives. Shoots over the top. Rebound taken off by Rojas. And she'll be foul. The air ball got the Western defense a little in disarray there. Rojas will go to the line for her first opportunity to score in this ball game. See, we're going to have Guardiola come back in, give a breather to Waters, and Rojas to shoot the free throw. It's off the left side. She'll have one more coming. 58-22, Western Nebraska. They're showing Panem with the foul. I thought her for one in the first half, so we'll see. Second one misses. Cook in. She rebounds for Western Nebraska. 58-22, 6.20 to go here. Third quarter, Brooks with it, right side. Takes a Cook screen, give and go down low to Cook. Couldn't come up with it. Turnover on Western Nebraska. First of the quarter, eighth of the game. We're going to see Hebbard back in for Lamar. It'll be Rojas to take a breather. Angelis comes over to take the pass. Now brings it ahead to Guardiola in the forecourt. Back to Angelis. Angelis cross-courts it to Ortiz. Guardiola hits, puts a three up. It won't go long. Rebound taken off by Hebbard, and it's knocked out of bounds by Western Nebraska. 5.55 to go. Third quarter, Western Nebraska 58, Lamar women 22. And it'll be almost out in the right corner where Angelis will inbound the basketball for the running lopes of Lamar. Tries to pass through the middle, and the ball's knocked away, but also a player goes crashing, and it'll be a foul against Western Nebraska. Panham gets called for this one. That gives her two according to the book. Somebody else has one that I didn't have down. Angelis inbounding left side for Lamar. Flips the ball into traffic. Hebbard has the shot partially tipped. Panham rebounds, clears it ahead to Perot. Perot wheels through the paint. Henry outside Panham, left side Brooks open for her three-pointer. It rolls out, and the rebound 
tipped over to Angelis of Lamar. Angelis, left side pass, Ortiz. It's knocked out of bounds by Western Nebraska as Ortiz trying to catch up to it ahead of a couple of Lady Cougar defenders. Scores at 58-22. We've been there a while. Left side, Angelis flips it out to Schumacher between the circles. Schumacher to Ortiz out of Rye, Colorado. Ortiz to Schumacher near the free throw line. Back out to Angelis. Angelis to the left elbow. Flips to Schumacher. It's fumbled away. Intercepted by Perot. She's all by herself for the layup. Perot makes it 60 to 22. Western Nebraska. Far side, Guardiola. Goes to Ortiz on the right side and a bump foul against Perot. Five minutes, two seconds to go. 60 to 22, Western Nebraska. And Perot has her second foul. So three on Western Nebraska. We're not at the uh, double bonus as of yet. Guardiola to inbound. Into Angeles. Brooks on her. Angeles with the five-second count on. Starts the dribble to take that off. And now her pass on the wing. Tipped out of bounds by Perot. Intended for OTs. 4.53 to go. Here in the third quarter, bad pass in. Angeles can't handle it. Here comes Brooks. She'll put it up and in, but we're going to have traveling called on Brooks. So it wipes out the layup and leaves the score at 60 to 22. Stop the dribble a little too far out. Douglas will come in. Henry will exit. We're at 4.49 to go. Third quarter, long pass ahead to Guardiola. Guardiola on the right elbow now with Perot on her defensively. Takes the screen top of the circle. She'll launch, but it rims out in the rebound, Panam. Panam baseballs it down to Brooks. She'll lay it in. Brooks racing down court, got ahead of the defense. And let's see, we're going to have a couple of players that hit hard. Angeles being one of them for Lamar. She kind of hurdled a sub, uh, one of the uh, people watching the game down there. Like... Maybe some of the athletes for the spring sports for Western Nebraska. She's okay. Back out. It's a 40-point lead, 62 to 22. Guardiola on the right side. Spins to the baseline but can't shake free. Goes high post, Hebbard. Here's the drive. Try and give it back to Hebbard. She'll get it and be fouled as she goes up for the shot. Nice give and go in traffic there. And Hebbard will go to the line, I believe. Or are they going to say maybe on the floor ahead of that? Foul is on Perot, and she has her third. We're going to have a timeout taken. 62-22 to 22 with 4.14 to go. Western Nebraska leading on the West Coast scoreboard. When you decide to sell your car, there are so many more options than ever before. Do not overlook Team Auto Center as a top-rated buyer for your old vehicle. No need to trade it in on a new one. Team Auto Center will give you a fair market price for your vehicle with no expectation of you purchasing from us. Come experience the difference at Team Auto Center or visit us online at teamautocenter.net. No job is ever done without the right fuels. This is Brian from Dooley Oil. In this country, our extreme conditions call for extreme measures. We carry both red and clear diesel treated with power service to keep injectors clean and add lubricity and avoid gelling up in cold weather. We also offer a full line of house products designed to keep you on the road and field. Committed to service, Dooley Oil offers delivery too. Stop in at 2475 North 10th Street on Discuss with Gearing Highway or call 633-2764. Your home and away voice for the Cougars, 101.3 KOZY. 17-2, third quarter advantage for Western Nebraska so far, but still 4.14 to go, and at the line will be Alyssa Hebbard to shoot her first free throws of the contest. 4-4 at halftime for Lamar, but Rojas missed her two earlier in the quarter. This one goes in for Hebbard, and she's got her name in the scorebook. Seven have played, six have scored now in the game for the running lopes of Lamar Community College. Hebbard, one more toss coming. Bends the knees, and it bounces in. Hit the back iron, goes straight up in the air, and falls through for her second point. 62-24, to 24, Western Nebraska. 
Perot flips it to Panem between the circles, back to Perot. Perot drives into the paint, ball's knocked away. She gets it back, sprawls to the court, tips it to a teammate, gets it down to Cook. Cook will give to Brooks. Brooks into the middle, and is she hammered? And <laughs> they'll call it a travel. Boy, she was hit and goes two rows up into the baseline seats. She's a bit hurt here, too, I think, shaken up. Let's see if... Yeah, she's hurt. And the official will... The other official will call timeout, not the one that allowed the linebacker play. And it'll be... Amani Brown coming in for Western Nebraska. 3.52 to go. 62-24 here in the quarter. High pass intercepted by Panem, and she'll be fouled from behind. Hebbard couldn't handle the pass and then fouled as Panem took the pass in after the interception. That'll be the see, foul against Ortiz coming from the side. He's going to actually get this one. And Western Nebraska has it. Brown, Panham. Panham in front of the Cougar bench. Bounces out. Gives it to Douglas at the free throw line. Flips it to Perot on the right side. Perot. Skip pass into the corner. Amani Brown off the back iron, however, in the rebound to Cook. Long rebound. Perot has it. Perot whips the pass right side. It'll be tipped out of bounds by Hebbard. And Western Nebraska will have possession with 17 on the shot clock. 62 to 24, 328 to go on the game clock. And Perot on the left side was looking inside, couldn't get it there. Brown outside. Perot takes a tip pass, goes down to Panama on the baseline, back out to Perot. She'll load up, threes off the back iron. Cook has the rebound, puts it up. It's partially tipped, rebound Lamar. Get it on ahead to Ortiz. Ortiz flips it back to Schumacher. Schumacher drives into the paint, puts the left-handed shot up. Rim rattles out. Rebound taken by Hebbard. She'll get it out to Ortiz. Lamar with the basketball. Angelis far side. Angelis in front of the Lamar bench. Gives it to Schumacher. Comes into the paint. Has to dish to Ortiz. She'll drive baseline. Ten-footer knocked out of bounds by Western Nebraska. Ball will stay with Lamar. They've got two on the shot clock. Z comes back in. Fields enters for Western Nebraska. Here's Henry also coming in. Officials get together for a moment. I think they're discussing whether that ball maybe hit the iron so the shot clock wouldn't be at such a deficit here for Lamar. Nope. Two seconds on the clock. Angelis to inbound on the right side. Angelis flips it to Ortiz, Schumacher, and there's the shot clock violation. 21st turnover against Lamar. Western Nebraska has nine in the game right now themselves. 2.42 to go, 62-24 here in the third quarter. Western averages 91 points a game. Brown shovels it down into traffic, knocked away. Z gets it back, puts it up. It's rejected. Rebound off to Douglas. Her baseline 15-footer won't go. Rebound Hebbard of Lamar. Inside two and a half minutes to go. Ortiz pushes it up court quickly for Lamar. Reverses it to Hebbard. Now Angeles and Douglas will have the foul as she was a split second late getting there for the interception. That'll be Douglas with her first personal, and it'll be two shots coming for Angelis. Hasn't shot a free throw in the ball game. She's a 77% free throw shooter when she does. Averaging 18.1, six points at halftime, a three in each of the first two quarters. But being around, just harassed, uh, hounded on all sides by Western's defense. First shot does not go. Score remains 62 to 24. 17 to 4 advantage Western here in the third. Free throw for Angelis goes in, so she has seven now in the game. And it's 62 to 25. Angelis will come out for a well deserved rest. Fields into Douglas on the bounce pass, and Douglas into the forecourt. Douglas, right side, Henry. Fake to three, goes to Brown. Now Douglas. Douglas drives in, draws pressure. Brown, extra pass into the corner to Henry. Her pass to Z. Z, nice drop step, puts it up, draws the foul. 
Z just so tough because she has good footwork down low. And Z will go to the line to shoot, although she's had a bit of trouble there. Foul will go against Schumacher, and that's her fourth. Only seven suiting for Lamar. That one rim rattles out. Looked like it was in, and all of a sudden popped back out. So Z now is one of four in free throwing, hitting 52% on the season. This one also will miss. Schumacher rebounds. Lamar has the basketball. 62 to 25. Ortiz flips it to Schumacher. Get the ball down into traffic. Turning shot won't go for Hebbard. Z rebounds. Gets it to Douglas. Douglas races to the hoop. Misses the layup as Schumacher intimidated. Now Douglas knocks it away from behind. It's picked up, however, by Lamar's Thalia Guardiola, and she'll dribble it out of bounds off her foot. So, really, Douglas created the turnover there. Schumacher will come out with those four personals now. Minute 35 remains in the quarter. Douglas, with the score 62-25, handling it for Western Nebraska. Goes to Henry, left side, into the corner. Brown, she's open, three-pointer counted. Brown with her first three of the game, her fifth point, 64-25. Hebbard drives baseline back out to Ortiz. Ortiz goes to the baseline and will be fouled. She tossed the ball up in the air as she got to the baseline. And it'll be Brown picking up her first personal. Minute nine to go. Free throws coming because the double bonus in effect. And Ortiz, who hit a pair back in the first quarter, in fact, they were the first points that Lamar had in the game, back there for her next time. It hits the front, the back, and falls in. So Ortiz, who is an 80.6% free throw shooter, perfect on the day at three for three. Make it four for four. 64-27. Western Nebraska the lead and the basketball. Give it to Brown. She just hit a three. She's a long way away. Gives to Fields. Fields hasn't had one today. Brown tries a three. Long rebound comes away to Waters of Lamar. Ortiz pushes it quickly. Gets the ball down on the baseline, but it's knocked away from Rojas. Rojas trying to save it in. Can't. And Lamar's turned it over for the 23rd time in the game. 44.6 seconds to go. Only me brought to and Sarkodie Adu have not played for Western in the game so far. Douglas takes it right side, now comes back left, drives in to draw pressure, hooks the pass to Henry, her three-point bomb, barely draws iron, long rebound, Douglas. She'll try one, it's off the backside. Henry puts it in and is fouled. Shante Henry somehow got the rebound and scored and will have a chance at a three-point play, but not the way she normally gets them, outside the arc. Waters with the foul for Lamar. Comes with 24 seconds to go in the quarter. Henry misses the free throw. Z has the rebound. Z tripled, gets it to Douglas. So she'll drive, and we're going to have an offensive foul called on Z. A little too aggressive trying to clear some space there. And with 19.3 seconds to go, it will be Lamar with the basketball. 66-27, all Western Nebraska. Ortiz glances up at the overhead clock, has it across the timeline, drives to the left side. Now shovels it away. Here's Guardiola. Her runner comes off glass. Rebound tipped outside. Z has it. Z, long pass. Douglas at the buzzer. It was tipped by Lamar as she let it go. It won't go in. And after three quarters of play, it's Western Nebraska, 66. Lamar, 27 on the West Coast. Score. We made it through 2020. Thank you. We made it through 2021. Thank you. We're looking forward to working with all of our customers, old and new, in 2022. And thank you for your business the past 10 years, whether it's sports teams, schools, businesses, or something unique just for you. The team at Logos has had the pleasure working with you and can't wait to work with you again. So from Jared. Thank you. Ryan. Thank you. Nick. Thank you. Danielle. Thank you. Anthony. Thank you. Mike and Adam, thank you. Logos, downtown gearing. Alano's businesses need reliable communication, both at the office and at home. 
now more than ever. Just listen to Bill Michener from Lighthouse. Before we'd have breaks in service, especially for internet, but we've never had any issues with Allo. It's always been there and available when we needed it. At Allo, supporting your business is our business. To get your free quote and switch today, visit allofiber.com slash workfast or call 402-480-6685 today. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of WNCC Athletics. On KOZY 101.3, Western Nebraska. Let's see, they had a 21-7 to margin in that third quarter. I had them with 22, and apparently one of those threes wasn't. And we'll have to check that on the stats after the game. But no problem at 66-27. Lamar has the ball as we open play. Far side pass. Fields knocks it away. Race for it and stolen away by Douglas. Douglas feeds it to Brown. She'll be fouled as she goes up for the shot. So the 24th turnover as Douglas gets another steal. She's averaging 4.3. Her average went down a little bit because she only played into midway through the third quarter before being injured up at Torrington. And out 4.3 steals per game is second in the country. Brown has the free throw hesitate and fall away. One more coming for Amani Brown. This one rolls around, hesitates, and the rebound saved inbounds by Hebbard of Lamar. She'll get it ahead to Waters. Waters. Has it knocked away by Douglas, recovered by Waters. Here's Angelis. Her 10-footer won't go. Gets her own rebound. Hooks the pass outside to Waters. She'll put it up from 15, and it rolls in. So Waters now with seven in the ball game. 66-29. Western Nebraska. Fields faked a three. Gives to Douglas. Her runner from the free throw line. Nothing but net. 15 for Alicia. 68-29. Western Nebraska on defense. Angelis across. Angelis out of San Antonio, Texas. Now, excuse me. She's out of Australia. Here's a two-pointer by Angelis, and she's got nine. Half of her normal average. Here is Shante Henry. She'll bury a three from downtown. And Henry now with 14 points, four threes in the game. 70 to 27. Angelis picks the dribble up. She'll get it to Rojas. Waters, right corner, on the cut. Ball flipped over on the side. Nice pass, easy layup after Guardiola gave it to Rojas for her first two of the game. 71-33, Western Nebraska. And we're going to have Henry catch the ball with her foot on the sideline and a turnover on Western Nebraska. 8-12 to go, 71-33. Western Nebraska all over the running lopes of Lamar. Men's game coming up, second part of our doubleheader. Angelis gets the ball in deep on the baseline just ahead of the five-second count. Stolen away by Douglas. She'll hit again. Douglas causes the 25th turnover. Here's Angelis. She'll throw it away. Threw it way in front of her teammates. So back-to-back turnovers against Lamar. And with 7.55 to go, here comes Perot, Panham, Brooks, Smith, and Cook for Western Nebraska. By quarters, 21 to 5, 24 to 15, 21 to 7 by Western Nebraska, and they lead it by 40 now, 73 33. Brooks, Panham, high post, Smith. Smith drives on the right. It's knocked away and taken away. Good defense by Lamar there. Here's Angeles handling it. Angelis flips it down low, wide open. Rojas lays it in for her second hoop in short order. 73-35. Panham with it right side. Panham two points in this one. Had 16 against EWC. Here's Smith into the middle, and she's going to be called for traveling as she gathered the ball, then took an extra step. 73-35, Lamar has the basketball back. 
Angelis with Brooks on her. She brings it for court. Angelis was looking right side, nothing there. Dribbles to the left side, now goes high post with it, but Rojas fakes a couple of passes, hangs on to it, now gives to Angelis right elbow. Angelis wanted the shot, but Cook jumped out on her. Now backs off, and Angelis open, but misses the three. Smith rebounds, Perot with it. Western Nebraska on the run, get it into the corner to Panem. She'll drive, it'll be a block foul, and uh, it'll be out of bounds to Western Nebraska as Angelis with her third. She has to be exhausted handling the ball as much as she does on the offensive end. She is the person that the offense goes through. She'll come out to take a breather. Perot will be on the left side to trigger it. Perot flips it into Panem. Panem, Perot right side. Perot drives in on the baseline, hooks it out, and it's going to be intercepted. Good defense by Guardiola of Lamar. Ortiz brings it across. Left side pass. Waters, Waters back out to Ortiz, near side Hebbard, now Rojas between the circles, right side Waters, Waters gives it to Guardiola, no look pass, layup will go in on a nice feed, and Rojas has her sixth point. She scored the last six for Lamar after being scoreless in the game. 73-37, Brooks hesitated. Panem in the corner, right back out to Brooks. And we're going to have three seconds on Rashawn Smith. 15th turnover on Western Nebraska. They're starting to add up. They have five already this quarter. They average 11 per ball game. Ortiz across. Brooks shuts her off, so she'll go high post with it. Rojas. Rojas trying a backdoor cut, pulling up, 15-footer goes in for Waters. Waters nearing double digits. She was averaging under two points coming in. Skip pass near side, Brooks. Brooks on the left side, right back to Perot on the right side. Get it down to Smith. Smith's going to be double teamed and a foul down on the baseline. It'll be a non-shooting as that's only the third against Lamar. Here comes Garcia and Fowler back in for Western Nebraska. Hebbard picks up the foul for Lamar. Non-shooting, right side Perot zips it in the corner to Garcia, who has a three in the game. Perot, right corner, out to Brooks. Brooks trying to drive, it's knocked away. Here comes Lamar with it. Long pass ahead, Guardiola, she'll miss the layup. Following up, traveling will be called on Rojas as she lost her footing after getting the rebound. Five minutes, 10 seconds to go. 73-39, Western Nebraska. Fowler inbounds to Perot. Just over five minutes to go as Perot hands to Fowler. Takes it to the right side, passes to Garcia. Garcia, now Brooks in front of the Western bench. Into the corner, Fowler, Brooks. Brooks drives paint, dumps it down to Smith. She'll lay it in. Nice pass by Brooks. Smith has seven. 75-39. Waters handling it, and it's knocked out of bounds by Garcia. We're going to see Schumacher come back in with her four personals for Lamar, and we're going to have timeout. 75-39, Western Nebraska, 4.37 to go on the West Coast scoreboard. You know, Floyd's Truck Center began with a single operation in Scotts Bluff. Today, the company serves the trucking industry with nine locations. And at all nine, you'll find service departments with factory-trained technicians, fully stocked parts departments, and knowledgeable staff. So when you're on the road in Sydney, Cheyenne, Casper, Gillette, Rock Springs, Rapid City, Fort Pier, or Belgrade, Montana, service and convenience are just ahead with Floyd's Truck Center. Have you heard? Gary's Restoration is under new ownership, and we are celebrating two years. Gary's Restoration for all your water damage, mold cleanup, and restoration, painting, and carpet cleaning. The quality of our work and expertise hasn't changed. 
We're available 24 hours a day, so remember our number, 633-GARY, 633-4279, 633-G-A-R-Y, because we know emergencies don't happen when you want them to. 633-GARY. Your exclusive home for WNCC Athletics, 1013 KOZY. Hydrotex is your lubrication solution partner, a member of the holiday family of companies. Hydrotex is proud to support local athletes. At halftime, Western Nebraska had 21 of their 45 points come from bench players. They had 12 play and 11 score. Still the same numbers. Fowler, the only player who has been in who has not scored for Western Nebraska. Here's Guardiola to inbound to Schumacher. Schumacher. Can't get the shot off, so she'll pass back to Guardiola. Now tried to get it down to Schumacher and missed connections. Ball goes out of bounds. Western Nebraska has it with four and a half minutes to go. 75-39, Western Nebraska. They have never trailed in the ball game. Burrow takes the inbound, flips to Garcia, left side, pass out to Smith, and Ortiz trying for the steal. Bumped into her, and it was kind of like running into a brick wall. Ortiz will have her fourth. Rashawn Smith just kind of shakes her head, shakes it off, and it'll be an inbound because uh, we have not hit the five fouls yet for Lamar. Four team fouls on them. Garcia into Perot, right back to Yada Garcia. Smith high post, right side Brooks. Perot, right corner. She'll give it to Fowler from the corner. The three-pointer goes in, and Fowler becomes the... 12th player to score for Western Nebraska. And pressure on. Ortiz is going to lose the handle on it. Brooks with the defense. 29 turnovers on Lamar. 4.04 to go. And we are going to see Jeanette Mibratu in for the first time in the game. Sophomore out of Toronto will be in for Perot, who will leave with seven points in the game. 4.04 to go. And it's going to be Brooks handling it for a moment. Now Fowler. Fowler. Mibratu. Fowler right side against the zone. Ten on the shot clock. Mibratu to Smith. She'll launch a long two. It's too strong. Rebound Schumacher of Lamar. Ortiz will bring it for court. Brooks on her defensively. Brooks doing a good job there. Here's the drive shot and a foul. Ortiz took it down low. Brooks will be called for reaching in and will have her third personal foul. So it'll be two shots coming here for Ortiz. We're going to see Angelis back in. The leading scorer for Lamar coming out after picking up her foul with 644 to go, getting a breather. There's 337 to go. Ortiz remains perfect at the line. She's now five out of five. And has seven points. And hits again. Hitting 80.6. She looks solid up there. She's six of six on the day. Garcia changing hands on the dribble. Brings it across. Brooks with it. Mibratu. Left side, Brooks. Brooks drives to the free throw line. Drives in and scores. Brooks made that one look easy. She has eight in the game now. Pass to Schumacher, and she'll travel with the basketball. Didn't get a dribble started and couldn't keep the pivot foot planted. 79-41, Western Nebraska. We've got 3.15 to go in the game. Western will play NJC tomorrow at 2 o'clock, another South Sub-Region game. Looks like uh, MJ Sarkodie Adu will report next time the clock stops. Garcia, Mibratu left side. Bounces to Brooks, high post, drives right side, doubled, gets it in the corner to Garcia. Garcia will drive in, puts the shot up. It won't go. Rashawn Smith fouled. It'll go. And one. Smith has a chance to get into double digits in the game. It would be the third time this year for her. She had 14 against Williston State, 18 against Miles in those games at Gillette. And here comes MJ Sarkodia Du. So all 14 players in for Western Nebraska now. Smith will have a free throw coming. She is one out of two. And makes the old-fashioned three-point play with a successful free throw. 
So she's in doubles, and it's a double-up score, 82 to 41. Angelis to the left side, whips a pass down on the baseline, reverse layup, and it's blocked by Smith off of the Rojas attempt. Rojas gets the ball back after Waters recovered it. Down low, Smith knocks it away. It's out of bounds off Western Nebraska. 2.29 to go in the game, 82 to 41, Western Nebraska. Nine seconds on the shot clock for Lamar. And we're going to have a warning against the Lamar bench. No foul. Ortiz will inbound. Gets it to Angelis. Angelis comes to the left side, drives in. The floater goes in from about eight feet. Nice move by Althea Angelis. 82 to 43. Garcia open, feeds it down to Smith. She misses the layup. Rebound taken by Smith. She'll put it up, but we're going to have traveling called. So she got an offensive rebound after the miss and a turnover. Here's Lamar with it with 2.10 to go. 82 to 43, Western Nebraska. Ortiz hurries the ball into the forecourt. Left side pass to Waters. Her three comes up short. Garcia rebounds. Garcia looking down court. Nobody was open. Now the ball's knocked away from her. Turnover. Here's Ortiz. Flips it down low, and Rojas gets the layup. Rojas coming alive here in the fourth quarter. Has eight points. Minute 40 to go. And kicking the ball against Angeles. So Western will inbound it in front of the Western Nebraska bench. Minute 41. 82 to 45. We're just determining a final score. Have for some time. Garcia to Fowler. Fowler starts right, now passes to Mibratu. Mibratu drives, free throw line jumper, nothing but net. Mibratu, averaging 1.1, has her first two-pointer of the game. Angelis loads up from the left corner and hits. Angelis coming alive with 14 in the game now, 84-48. Garcia will drive, puts it off the glass, but it won't go, and the rebound taken by Rojas of Lamar. Ortiz up on the right side, Smith reaching in to try and knock it away, gets called for the foul, and with a minute two to go, it'll be inbounded by Lamar, as Western not close to the five fouls yet for the double bonus. 84-48, Western Nebraska. Ortiz flips it out to Waters, who in turn hands it to Ortiz, goes to Schumacher, high post. Schumacher, backdoor cut, Angelis, 18-footer won't go, rebound tipped outside. Lamar saves it, and now Smith rejects another one. Ahead to Garcia. Garcia, Fowler in the corner, flips it back to Garcia. She turns down the shot, gives it to Mibratu, extra pass in the corner. Sarkodie Adu has the three rim out. Schumacher rebounds. We're at 32 seconds to go as Ortiz drives on the side, misses the layup, rebounds Smith. She'll get it to Garcia. Garcia races down court. Angeles in pursuit. She'll block it, and it's out of bounds. Western will have it with 20 and a half seconds to go. Shot clock is off. Western Nebraska scoring 18 points in the quarter so far while Lamar has 21. Fowler in the corner, the three-pointer won't go, but we had a foul or a turnover against Western. I'm not sure I didn't see the signal, but it's anyway going the other direction. We'll call it a turnover. And with 19 seconds, Lamar has another chance here. They've scored 21 points in the quarter after having 27 in the entire game. Angelis handling it against Garcia. Starts to back in, now goes outside again, backs in, takes a Schumacher screen to the near side. She'll take a three-pointer, it's off short. And the rebound saved by Schumacher at the buzzer. And we've got our final score of Western Nebraska, 84. And Lamar, 48. We'll have the post game coming. Tom plows runs his parking lot on temperature Tuesdays. Take that, snow drift. With great horsepower comes great responsibility. Every Tuesday in January and February, the temp at 6 a.m. is the price you pay for an original Runza sandwich when you buy medium fries and a drink. And every Tuesday, the drive-thru will be drivable. Thanks, Tom. Not all heroes wear capes. 
I'm wearing one. I know. Temperature Tuesdays are back, and Runza makes it all better. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we've built our firm around a deep respect for planning, our commitment to helping you plan effectively, invest wisely, and map a realistic course to your future is nowhere more evident than our Envision planning process. Put the process to work for you. We'll be with you every step of the way. For more information, call Ryan Windhorst, Senior Vice President of Investments, today at 632-7561. That's 632-7561. Team Auto Center is a different car buying experience, and we want customers for life. Here's another way to prove it. Now, when you purchase a new vehicle from Team Auto Center, it'll come with a lifetime warranty at no extra cost. That's right. Purchase a brand new vehicle from Team Auto Center and get a lifetime warranty. One low price. Plain, simple, and always. And now, a lifetime warranty. Ask one of our sales consultants for details or visit TeamAutoCenter.net. GMC. We are professional grade. Your home for Cougar Athletics, 1013.